Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have another China mail haul for you guys. I was hoping to film yesterday because two of my packages came in and I didn't get around to it. Good thing because today I got another package and I'm not sure what painting it is. I'm pretty sure I know what this one is and what this one is, but this one, if it's what I'm thinking, that was super fast shipping on it. As usual, I will give links below to the projects that I have purchased and I will be doing an update in this video of the Butterfly Rose Garden that I've been working on. I'm really hoping to have it done by this Saturday. So let's jump in and check out what I got from China Mail. I'm going to go ahead and start with this middle one right here. And I will say I didn't like the way they packaged this. Let me go ahead and hide my address. It didn't come in a box. Like they, they I could feel there's styrofoam in the tube, so that's a good thing. But I really wish that they would have packed it a little more securely. So let's see if I can get this open. They did tape it really, really well. And it's probably gonna be a pain in the butt to open. We're starting to get it open. Gotta cut through all this tape that they put on it. Still having issues getting it open. Like, please make this easier on me. Alright, so I'm starting to be able to rip through the tape and get this out. Here we go. So let's see what this one is. Oh, they even taped the canvas. Wow. So let me untape the canvas. Okay, here we go. This one is, let's see if I can get it in frame. Ah, knocking gems over. This is the Floral Dream Catcher. And I bought this one to do for my daughter's room. So I'll end up framing that one. And then this black one here is also one that I got to do for my daughter's room. I guess I need to stop filming where I keep all my gems set up because I'm just a big mess maker. So I'm opening that one now. This one did come boxed, thank goodness. I guess I should show you guys the supply that came with the dream catcher. And that one is a full drill and it is a round drill. So this is the supply that came with the dream catcher. And if you guys see my last video, I kind of wasn't too happy because another seller only gave me a small little thing of wax. This one did too, and this image is much bigger. Thank goodness I hang on to my extras. And then these are the drills that go with that one. So lots of peaches, and I absolutely love those lavender and purples and pinks that are going to be in this one. So the next one here, like I said, I knew what this one was because they even put a picture of it on the shipping label. But that white one, that white one, I have no idea what that is. So popping this one open. And it did come in a box. Came in the Fashion DIY Diamond 5D painting box. And this one has a cover on it. So you guys don't get to see the big image of it. 
me see if there is a manifest in the box so I can show you guys an image of it. There is a manifest and a toolkit. This one came with tweezers, a drill pen, a good chunk of wax, and a large tray. And this one has tons of beads. Let's see, can any of you guys guess what this one is? I have seen it in some of the diamond painting groups and I absolutely fell in love with this because my daughter is obsessed with owls. So this is the owl with the flower crown. When I get done with my butterfly rose garden, this is going to be the next project I work on. So last but not least, we have the mystery white box of what's in it. We don't know. And this did come in a box as well. I love when they put them in the boxes because I feel like my paintings are more secure. The box did get beat up <laughs> in transit. But once again, that's why I like the boxes. So as you can see, it did get beat up a little bit in transit. And this is like a huge diamond painting. It's like, I don't remember ordering it. So this one comes with the tweezers. It comes with the drill pen, a good chunk of wax, a large tray. The drill pen has one of the grippies on it. And, uh-oh, I'm pretty sure I only ordered one owl, but guess who got two owls? So I don't know what I'm going to do with one of these. I know I'm going to do one for my daughter's room. I don't have any nieces. I only have nephews, so owl really isn't their style, especially because it's pink and girly. So I'm going to have to figure something out to do. You never know. Maybe as I grow my channel, I'll give this one away. So let's go ahead and go over some progress with the Butterfly Rose Garden. Let me move my containers out of the way that fell. So my goal yesterday was to get to the halfway mark. I did surpass the halfway mark on it. Really want to have this done by Saturday. Like I am so thankful that, hey, you know what? I got the privilege of being home most of the time. So I get to work on this quite a bit. So I'll show you guys how far I am. I did purchase a frame for it at Walmart. I could either pay $70 for a custom frame or I could buy a Walmart frame that was 36 inches by 12 inches and my painting is 36 and a half by nine. So I'm going to go ahead and cut a half inch off of it because what's a half inch? And I'll do a nice border with some cardstock I have to make up for the 12 inch difference in the frame. The frame did only come in black. It was $17 so it was a great deal. I'm actually going to spray paint it a nickel finish. Michael's Craft Store has the nickel spray paint and after coupon it's like three bucks. So let's hope that this gets done by Saturday. Let me go ahead and move you guys so you guys can see it all. I was getting tired of my arm getting stuck so I did put some washi tape down. And there's some more of it. And I'm right there. I'm at the butterfly. So I'm hoping to finish up the butterfly up to that top part tonight. And then tomorrow I want to do about that much. And then Saturday the rest. So as you can see, I only have that much left. I measured, I believe that it is 12 and a half inches I have left. Since I'm cutting a half inch off, I only have 12 inches. So I'm hoping to do a six by nine inch portion tomorrow and as well as Saturday. And once I get it framed, I will do a video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye everyone.